Mr. Kellner, I want to hear from you on the same subject. You said previously that uh, you support the Dobbs decision returning abortion rights to the states, but you would defend Colorado's law protecting abortion access if it came to that, even though you don't personally support Colorado's abortion law. I want to ask you, if local jurisdictions in Colorado want to put their own restrictions on abortion to buck the state law, would you sue those jurisdictions into compliance? Yes, I would. Uh, when I said that I would support the state law and defend it, I mean that. You know, this is the rule of law. This is what separates our country from so many other countries that I have seen as a Marine officer deployed overseas. You know, we have the rule of law for a reason. And I have pledged repeatedly that I would defend the Reproductive Health Equity Act. And in fact, it's really fear mongering on the part of my opponent to say that somehow that law is at issue in the Attorney General's race when both he and I have pledged repeatedly to defend that law. Let's continue, because I know this is a topic that is important to voters. You don't believe him when he says that? You think there's something in his record that suggests that he's not being honest? Where's the disconnect here? Here's the disconnect, Kyle. When a candidate says, I don't believe in reproductive rights, oh, when I a candidate gets the endorsement of the NRA, we have to ask, should we trust that candidate to protect reproductive rights? My opponent was asked, are you pro-choice? It's a simple question, yes or no. I am. I believe in a woman's right to choose. On gun safety, I believe in protecting our gun safety laws, not the NRA's agenda. On this, com on, on this topic, it's, it's possible other states want to restrict people from leaving those states to get abortion access elsewhere. Colorado could be one of those places they come. You signed on, Mr. Weiser, to a nationwide letter this summer saying you would use discretion and decline to use your office resources to criminalize reproductive health decisions. That's not going to be an issue in Colorado because abortion access is protected in state law, but I need to ask you about this discretion. Do you support decisions by local law enforcement and DAs to not enforce laws that they disagree with? There's a well-settled doctrine. It's prosecutorial discretion. Local district attorneys are elected saying what they're going to prioritize or not. And they're going to make judgments based on resources. That's the way our system works. I accept that. And when people say, I'm going to elect you, Phil Weiser's attorney general, because you're doing a great job going after fraud cases. You're doing a great job going after uh, antitrust cases. You're doing a great job protecting against pollution. That's a choice they're making. What I can't do is do the job for district attorneys. If district attorneys fail to prosecute car theft effectively in some communities because they're focusing on other things, that's their decision. But about discretion, when you, when you sign on to this letter, how is it any different than a local sheriff saying, I'm not going to enforce the large capacity magazine ban, which you have defended in state Supreme Court, but it's their, they're saying, I'm, I'm not going to enforce that. How is it any different saying, well, I'm not going to enforce any restriction that might come our way from other states about abortion access? I believe what I'm talking about is prosecutorial discretion. When someone says to me, will you work with other states to criminalize doctors and patients? I will say no. I will fight that with every tool I possibly can. Locally elected sheriffs and DAs are going to make their own decisions. That's part of our democratic process. What I can do and what I have done is work with them. For example, on the red flag law, a lot of them said, I don't know that I'm going to enforce it. We did a study on the red flag law in the first year. And of the 32 sheriffs who said they weren't going to enforce it, 20 have now used it because we've explained how important that law is and what good it can do.